Welcome back, I'm Father John and this is Deacon Glenn and we are continuing our study of the Mass by going through the different parts of the Mass. Uh, in the previous videos you saw some of the preparations we did for the liturgy and now we're going to go in this segment to talk about the introductory rites. Now once Mass is ready to begin, the uh, organist begins a hymn usually and the presider along with the deacon and the ministers walk up the aisle and as they approach the altar, uh, here at St. James, we genuflect towards the tabernacle, which is off to the right side of the altar. In some churches, you may find the tabernacle directly behind the altar. In other churches, the tabernacle may be in a, a separate chapel away from the altar area. Because the tabernacle is visible here at St. James, we do genuflect to it. And then we do a bow to the altar. And as we come around the altar, uh, we would then reverence the altar with a kiss. The altar represents Jesus Christ, and so just as in a marital situation, spouses reverence each other with a kiss, when you love someone, you give them a kiss or a hug, so too because we are in a, an intimate relationship as minister to Christ, we offer a kiss to the altar. The altar has been consecrated with chrism, which is a special oil that has a, a distinctive scent to it. And so the uh, this altar itself is a sacred vessel uh, because it holds the body and blood of Jesus Christ. When the priest and the deacon reach the chair and the music has stopped, we begin uh, with the sign of the cross, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And then the priest says, the Lord be with you, or some other greeting to which the congregation responds, and with your spirit. At that time, the uh, minister usually has some kind of introduction, although it's not required, kind of setting the theme for the Mass. And then he invites the people to consider uh, putting themselves in the presence of God and asking for God's pardon and mercy. So it goes something like this, uh, after saying, the Lord be with you with your spirit, as we now gather to celebrate the sacred liturgy, let us call to mind our sins, asking God's forgiveness and mercy. Pause of, you know, a few seconds so people can collect their thoughts. And then there are several options available. The first one is called the confidior, the I confess. And uh, in many churches they have uh, hymnals or um, cards that have the responses in them. And uh, we begin the I confess. The words have changed slightly since the past couple of years. Uh, but the I confess is an ancient prayer which we ask God to uh, forgive our sins. We ask the intercession of Our Lady, and the saints, and the apostles to help us to uh, be forgiven of God's mercy. Following that, the priest does a little prayer of absolution. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. It's not the same prayer of absolution you get in confession, but it is an opportunity for you to, re to recognize that God does forgive sin, especially venial sin, when you come to Mass, especially when you receive the Eucharist and you have a contrite heart. It doesn't substitute for confession, but it does allow you to recollect your thoughts and ask for God's pardon and mercy. Following the confidior, the deacon usually would say, the Lord have mercy. So it would be a stance of, Lord have mercy. The congregation would repeat, Lord have mercy. The deacon would say, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. That would be the first form of the penitential rite. The second form would be where we would do the, the penitential rite uh, using the same Lord have mercy, but expanding the tropes, expanding each one with a little petition, and that is usually done by the deacon. Okay. An example would be Lord Jesus, you forgive those who are contrite. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ Jesus, you forgive us of our sins. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And then the priest would say, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. 
So that would be the second form of the, of the uh, confidio. There is a, a, a uh, penitential rite. There is a third form, which is not often used. Um, however, uh, it can be used. And you can find that uh, on the card here. And basically the priest would say, Have mercy on us, O Lord. The people respond, For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. There is um, a fourth form of the penitential rite, which is often used in the Easter season. And that's where we take holy water that's been blessed at the Easter Vigil. And people are reminded that this water cleanses them of sin. It's like a washing away of sin. And so the priest would uh, say a prayer prior to that. Okay. Um, and then during uh, the uh, following that prayer, he would then go around, he and the deacon usually go around sprinkling the congregation, during which time the organist sings a song reminding us of God's mercy and love uh, and cleansing us. And the sprinkling like helps us to reflect upon our baptism in which all sins were forgiven at our baptism. And then um, <coughs> following that penitential rite, we then give glory to God by singing the glory to God in the highest. This is done on Sundays and on solemnities and on feast days. During the week we generally do not say the glory, although it is permissible. Um, and uh, following the Gloria, we then do what's called the Collect, or it's a, the opening prayer, and basically it collects the prayers of the congregation. So the priest invites the congregation by saying, let us pray. There's a brief pause, and then he then offers the prayer, which is prescribed in the book. Uh, it's called the Roman Missal, and each Sunday has its own proper prayer. And many of the weekdays have their own proper prayer as well. There are some common texts that are used on those weekdays that are during ordinary time. Following that prayer, the congregation says, Amen. And we then sit down to listen to the readings. Amen.